Hey everyone, good morning. Payson here. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on the manure spurrier truck. And uh, what I have to do is I have to take that sprocket, uh, not the sprocket, the hub that the sprocket mounts onto. I have to take it off and take it to a machine shop and there they were going to install a sprocket on there for me. Uh, but he said I need the hub so I can get the measurements right. Uh, that's proving to be a lot harder than I want that I planned uh, it would just not budge yeah we were heating it pulling heat and pulling and it would not move but I did get it to move this morning uh, probably about a sixteenth there I can tell it snapped over but uh, I need a bigger puller I'm gonna go look for a bigger puller maybe uh, I did get it to move because I tried cold water on the shaft today heated it up and then tried cold water so yeah, I'm going to have to go see if I can get another puller. This one wants to go sideways all the time. And I don't want to wreck it. It's starting to bend already. So, Yeah, I need a three-jaw puller. I have a three-jaw puller, but it's a little bit lighter than this one, so that's no good. But yeah, it's, uh, I keep trying. I've, I must have went through half of oxygen acetylene bottles already heating that sucker. So, But it did move, so there's good news on that front. Uh... Yeah, I still have to cut out a couple pieces of teeth, spreading teeth here. I think there's one missing here, one missing there. Do a little welding on there. Uh, I had to bring out my MIG welder out here. Uh, I've got a big cord for it that plugs in, but uh, my uh, main welder, my stick welder, that girl right there chewed the wires off of it. I don't know why she did that. She doesn't chew cords or anything, but she just decided to chew the main two main wires for the for the welder. Not too happy, I can say that. There's a few choice words. Ah, I might just end up buying new cords for it anyway. They weren't that great, but when the time comes that I wanted it, uh, couldn't use it, and I'm gonna have to be using it here soon. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna go look for a. For another puller, see what see what we can do. Well, I'm back. I went to town, got this three jaw pull, puller. Uh, I actually rented it. They said I could use it, but if I broke it or I didn't bring it back, I, it's mine. I bought it. So it worked really well. It's a seven ton, I believe. Uh, it still took a lot of heat and uh, a lot of cold water on the shaft there. But it started popping and pinging and it was coming, so we just went a little bit at a time. And it's off now, it's loose. It's just, I just I don't want to touch it because it's hot. So yeah, these pullers work pretty good. Three jaw for sure. Better than the two jaw, it just kept going sideways. This way the three jaw kept it uh, straight, right Sean? Right Sean? Sean, what are you doing today? Feeding cows? Anyway, now I can take this back and take that uh, back to town and get a sprocket put on it and take this back and get my money back you have to pay the full price and then you get it back so all right let's uh cool that sucker off and give her well i just uh took back the puller worked great like i said before uh uh, I won't be getting that sprocket probably done till Monday sometime. It sucks that it's a weekend, but uh, they're probably going to make me a different one, a two-piece one, so it's easier to get off. Uh, they were, the guy was telling me that uh, he said it's kind of odd to have that. What the heck is that? Oh, that's those two holes there. Eh? Uh, he said it was kind of odd to have that kind of hub on there. It should have been... Uh, a tapered hub or a two-piece so probably either get either one it'll be better than what was on there so anyway uh, while I was waiting yesterday I greased it on whatever I could grease I still have to go underneath the truck to grease uh, other than that she's I think she's gonna work good uh, I had it running and uh, everything was everything ran gate worked uh the the chains ran the chains ran good the the beater ran well of course except for the chain 
but the drive was working so won't know the for sure until we get it right in uh, manure and fully loaded and see what happens so anyway that's just anyway that's just a little video i was doing today so of what i was doing today so next is uh i'm gonna go pull out the the coon no that's not a coon spreader that's a night spreader uh yeah night 1060 spreader and i'm gonna start putting the brand new chains on there uh gonna while i'm waiting for this one so and uh the old uh, gmc 9500 is ready to go just need to add some oil to her and she's she's fine i just gotta cut the twines off yet there's some twines on so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today all right thanks for watching make sure you uh click subscribe and like and we hope this video doesn't get demonetized because the last few of, ha of mine have for no unknown reasons just uh youtube being youtube all right thanks for watching